Hi everyone, my name is Reed, and today we're just going to talk a little bit about how I discovered that I'm trans. It all started kind of when I was younger. In hindsight, looking back at it, it's more obvious when I was a kid just running around doing my thing or whatever. I don't, I didn't really notice, I guess you could say. Um, I always felt kind of wrong in some sort of way. But I didn't really know what it was or why it was there. Um, I always thought, like looking back on it, I always thought that I was a tomboy. But when I asked my stepdad what he thought about it, um, he basically said that I, he, I dressed like I was a pretty feminine kid, which I don't really remember all that much of. Like I know that I used to like wearing like skirts and dresses and stuff like that but that never really seemed like a feminine thing to me I just I always saw myself as a tomboy the one to like go outside play in the mud build a fort that type of stuff um but growing up I always felt something was wrong and every time I tried to like around like my teen years when I tried to start finding like a style for myself, I would go on the internet and I'd just like Google ideas or whatever that I would have. And I would always find the guy's version of the clothing style and I would really like it. And then I'd go to uh, try it out myself and I'd try to like feminize it, turn it into the girl's version because I didn't think I could look like, like the guys in the photos that I was seeing. And I don't really ever remember learning the word trans. It was kind of just in my vocabulary at some point. Um, sometime around, I don't know, maybe early high school years, I remember this one time when I was like walking past a mirror in my room and I looked at it and I was like, it just popped into my head all of a sudden. I was like, maybe I'm trans, but immediately like, Immediately, I was like, no, that can't be right because, you know, people um, talk so much about how it's a horrible thing that I just, I didn't want to be that, I guess you could say. But I kept having that feeling that, like, something was wrong. So one day, I decided that I was just going to, I was going to sit down and I was going to Google it, basically. And it's kind of funny because... Like, looking back, I, I remember thinking that something's wrong, and I know it has to do with the LGBTQ community, but I don't know what it is. So I was like, alright, I'll just Google LGBTQ terms. And I went through this giant long list of terms, and I read every single one, and I read it over again. And I kind of just settled upon a few things that would um, describe me. I started out by saying that I was gender fluid because I felt like though I had masculine times I felt that I had feminine times too which I kind of do but my brain was thinking out of it as like switching from guy to girl which it really wasn't like that it was more of like just being a more feminine guy sometimes so I I identified as gender fluid for the better part of a uh, my entire senior year, um, but throughout that time I had some pretty bad dysphoria. Like dysphoria didn't really bother me that much before. I like started considering myself as gender queer in some way. I kind of just was uncomfortable, I guess you could say. But once I figured out that that's what it was, it kind of just hit me like a ton of bricks, basically. Um, I had some breakdowns in art class a few times, got sent to the counselor's office a few times because of it. And my counselor was actually pretty cool because my counselor specialized in like queer type stuff. So it was kind of cool to have someone like that around, although they didn't really tell me anything that I didn't already know. So it wasn't too helpful at the time. Um, but around the end of my senior year, I started thinking about, like, transition and whether top surgery and hormone replacement therapy would be good for me. I kind of just, that's when I started doing my research. 
But then after I graduated, it, everything kind of fell in the back burner because I was trying to get on my feet, you know. And I started identifying as non-binary just because it was like a fluctuation type of thing. Like I wasn't really sure how to identify. I knew I didn't identify as a girl, but I didn't know what I identified as. So I used non-binary as a bit of a blanket term. Um, my dysphoria kind of mellowed at that time. Like it still was bothersome, but it wasn't as bad as it was when I first figured, started figuring things out. Um, I continued to look more into transition and stuff like that. Um, just learning more about it and like the process and all that type of stuff. And then after a while I kind of just like gave up on it because I wasn't out with any of my friends and I kind of just felt like I couldn't do that I guess. Like it wasn't an option for me for whatever reason. Like I wouldn't have the courage to ever do that, to transition I mean. Um, so I kind of just like, alright, I'll just label myself as genderqueer if anyone ever asked, which obviously no one ever did, because who asked that? Not straight cis people at least, and that's all my friends at that point. Um, but after a while I started thinking more about how things, like how I wanted my life to go, and how, who I wanted to be in like my ideal life type of thing. Um, I, throughout the entire time where I kind of like gave up on the possibility of transition, I was still searching things because like it made me feel good to watch YouTube videos of someone who was like three months on T or whatever, or like top surgery results and stuff like that. So I always, I like continued with my research on it and I kind of just decided that it's something I have to do because like... Well, not that I have to. Not that you have to transition if you're trans, which you absolutely don't. I just mean that for me, myself, personally, I have to. There's no way I can continue the way things are, I guess you could say. Um, it's like, I just, I have to be me. I just want to, I want people to see the person that I know I am. And it's not going to happen without testosterone and top surgery and all that type of stuff so I decided I was going to actually look into starting my transition and stuff like that and basically I was like all right I've decided I'm gonna do it so now I gotta tell all my friends and I'm still in the process right now I only have 15 more people to tell I came out to my boss and everything like that which I can have a video about that if you guys want it although it wasn't it won't be a very long video because it wasn't a very big like experience type of thing but let me know if you want that um but yeah i guess that pretty much gets us up to date now uh, i've been i guess identifying as some sort of not cis like some sort of gender queer thing for um let's see i think it's like three and a half years maybe two and a half no, three and a half. I, that day that I decided to Google terms was September 22nd of 2016, so whatever the math is for that. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the way things are going now. Um, everyone's been supportive, so hopefully it all works out. Um, I just want to remind everyone that when you're like coming to terms with everything, to not try to rush things. It will happen, and I know it's a pain in the ass to have to wait for it, but it will happen. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here. Have a nice day, week, month, however long until I see you again. Alright, bye.